Okay, today I will I will talk about Rust and NeoVim. So if you see something inaccurate, I'm new in Rust, so please not judge me too much. A little bit about me. I'm Andriy, I'm from Ukraine, now living in Vienna, in Austria. I do a lot Go, Python, I love gymnastics, on other stuff, I, I love speaking. I just dig talk in another room, so I just move forward. Cool, let's start. So NeoVim uh, is the most loved uh, editor in 2021 and in 2022. And Rust is the most loved language in 2022. So I feel it's a win-win. It's the best combination you can ever see. So can you raise a hand very quick who use like NeoVim or some? Oh, it's my audience. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice. So next slide is for you. If you like me, <laughs> love to spend all the day, uh, weekends configuring my development environment. Please don't don't tell it to my boss. <laughs> and since all of you using NeoVim, I think you know how to quick from Vim, right? No need to explain. Cool. So sugar smoking also. Cool. <clears throat> so first things first, NeoVim is a, just a fork of Vim, which is fo focused on like extensibility and usability. One of the examples is they injected or added ability to write plugins in Lua, which is great. <clears throat> and since 0 0.5, as you know, NeoVim supports LSP uh, client uh, framework. Uh, all good? All good. This means NeoVim can work uh, as a client to LSP servers like Rust Analyzer and building other tools. So to prove my words, yeah, if you open NeoVim and, and type help LSP, it's like inside editor, which is nice. And you can you can read what you can do. So and for for some of you who don't know what is LSP very quick, so LSP is a, like a I don't know. Uh, a bridge, so now you can focus on uh, developers of language servers, can focus on developing language servers, and developers of editors can focus on editors. And it's like win-win again, because previously it was like this. You, <laughs> you, you need to write a tool which format your code or whatever, it parse all three, and uh, depend on language, it's, you can integrate it. And jumping between languages is hard. Uh, that's why it's nice when you have this LSP. So quick start. <clears throat> I assume you know how to install NeoVim. So uh, if you never did it before, I highly recommend to start with this one file config, uh, which is uh, here, and put it in your uh, config location. What it does, <clears throat> it's very small. Uh, and it, it has few important plugins, which helps you to, to try it out. And I highly recommend to use it because it's easy to start doing something small and simple rather than starting like, okay, I need like lots of files, I need a repo for all my configs, etc. And as soon as you uh, know more, you can, you can refactor it. So, <clears throat> uh, and this file, uh, includes this new Mason plugin, which helps you to install language servers, which is handy because you can do it directly from NeoVim and uh, it will install binaries directly to uh, NeoVim standard pass. And uh, when you start NeoVim, it will <coughs> add this like location. So NeoVim and tooling will can communicate with these binaries and uh, it supports uh, LSP, so also for debuggers, for linters, for matters. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, next, so when you're done, you can you can see this after complete, which is great. <clears throat> uh, another interesting feature you can do after imports. So, for example, if you use hash map but you forget to import it, I usually do it. It's very nice, and if you uh, bind this code action, it will print you like different, depend on, on which part of code you are, if it has any code actions, <clears throat> for example, import hash map, 
you can type and import it automatically and that's it <coughs> it's very cool same with rename so now <coughs> all haters of Vim can't say that you're renaming using grep so you can rename using syntax tree be smart and using entire code base and that's it yeah I suppose to make a GIFs but since we decided to reduce stock I just have a pictures if you like me, forget your key maps because you have it tons. You can just use this nice plugin telescope key maps and just remind yourself, oh shit, it just fuzzy finds this. So very handy. <coughs> For example, uh, I forget LSP references, so I can <coughs> find how to run how to run it. And again, this LSP references uh, is more or less language agnostic. It's extension of telescope, which like get it and show you. You can do hover documentation. You can do, I don't know, signature help and many more other features, which I unfortunately can't cover in this short talk, but I highly recommend you go to this page and see how smart Rust Analyzer, it can do very nice uh, refactoring like, I don't know, apply Moore's law for your binary logic, uh, replace some uh, some patterns, etc. <clears throat> so I'm personally using big config. You can, if you want, you can check it. It's more organized because it's really big. Uh, it's not one file. <clears throat> and uh, if you need refresh knowledge about Wim, there are two really good books. Uh, I ever read about editors and you can play a little bit with, with G Wim Golf if you never try, I highly recommend. Uh, yeah, and a few references of guys which inspire me to use Neo Wim a lot. And uh, thank you. <laughs> Questions? <laughs>